everyone, this is Riff Raff, and today we're checking out a game called 10 Million. Yeah, you may have heard of this game before. It's been out for a while. I checked checking it out now because it was on sale on Steam, and I heard it, it was kind of like, you know, random element, sort of roguelike likey or something, so I wanted to check it out. This is uh, your castle. Yeah, you, you have a bed, you start with all of these doors kind of boarded up, and it doesn't take very long to open them up. Uh, just by playing the game. The, the idea is you take your little guy here. Oh, he's not moving. Now. Oh, now he is. So you have to tell him someplace he, he knows how to go. Uh, you just can't click anywhere. All right, so let's bring you right into the game. It's sort of like a match three game that's... Uh, you have a limited, limited amount of time. Every time you get hit, you lose some time. Um, and you'll see what I mean here. Let's just start it because it's easier just to show you than to try to describe it. And there's some bonus uh, things here. So you you can slide these things uh, vertically or horizontal to, to match three or more. Um, and then you see that your little guy up here with uh, obstacles that come up. So now there's a chest here. So that means, yeah, we've got to use some uh, some keys. So we unlock the keys. The, the wood and the stone help you um, get resources to upgrade your castle and open up doors and stuff like that. I'm not sure what it's used for after that. So that needs a key. Chests and the doors need a key. And then these things, uh, you try to line up like these staffs for magic or uh, the swords for uh, physical da uh, damage or melee damage. And certain attacks work better against certain enemies. These shields also give you this little sort of buffer, a little... Um, against uh, monster damage, I guess. It's, it, it doesn't take as much uh, time away. So you're constantly moving to the left, and when you get to the, end, the, the, the complete left side, your run is over. And I'm looking for, frantically, some way to uh, do this key out. Oh, well, there are ways, but I'm flailing right now. A little bit difficult to do this and talk at the same time. Oh, another key. Okay, we're pretty close. We can use some of these uh, consumables. That one just uh, is like a, a skeleton key. It opens up the any kind of chest. All right, I'm probably not going to survive this here. Yeah, it's done in by the chest. It pushed me off the side. Anyways, now as you match these uh, items up on the left side, you you have uh, different uh, bonus items that show up. So we'll do a, a, another run or two and try to get the idea. Um, I didn't get any of the bonus objectives that time. So, you know, do that. Um, attack you, I don't know what he, he needs. He needs like physical damage probably. Uh, although magic damage sounds appropriate for, oh man, this is, uh, I don't see much. All right, there's one. Sometimes it takes a little while to, to find a match if you're slow. Like I am sometimes to be. Uh, this is a staff, okay. Uh, here, have some sword. And you're still alive. Have another sword, and I'm almost dead already. These runs don't take very long. A minute or two, usually at the most. Oh, boy. This is, this is trouble. This is trouble. I'm looking. There's nothing. I'll just grab some uh, materials here. So my run, <laughs> run's almost over. Okay, have some of that. Uh, yeah, it's... Sometimes it seems like you kind of get bone, you know, so it's random what, what drops. And here's bonus items, bonus uh, objectives that give you extra gold. Kill a monster using only orbs. Perform 10 double matches and match 25 or 26 uh, backpack tiles. All right, we'll try it again. Try it again. So I'm ready with the sword. Yeah, all right, we'll get that and have some staff. And we'll get some wood while we're at it and some more staff. Some shield. Just kind of looking for matches, and uh, okay, get some backpacks. I think that gives you more time, or maybe more items, or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, we need some keys here. Keys. If you match four keys in a row, it counts as uh, two unlocks. So that's kind of cool. If, you, if you're able to do that, all the chests have two locks uh, by default. There are some things in the castle, and I guess I'll show you that uh, after this run, uh, which might be pretty soon here. I'm looking, looking. 
Oh, here we go. You can have some of that. What are you? Giant knight. You probably need some magic damage because you're armored. And yeah, here's some more. And some more. And you took a lot of hits. Okay, there's uh, quite a bit. These, these stars act as wild cards. Um, sometimes I'll just use the key just to kind of freshen up the board here. And you know, you're just... You can't, you can't keep it going for very long. At least I can't. I don't know if there's some sort of trick to it. We'll return home and you've got these different resources that uh, add up. I think 10 million freedom. Uh, when you get to 10 million in one single run, then uh, you win or something. I'm not sure. There's no, as far as I can tell, you can't, there's not a whole lot of uh, information in the game in terms of how to play. You just try to figure out stuff for yourself. So the trainer, you can uh, spend these experience. I think this is probably experience points, these purple ones. Every chain past five grants bonus time. Well, I like bonus times. Items do 25. I don't really use items too much. 5% more to do it's critical, critical strike. Yeah, okay. All right, so I'm going to have to pick one of these two things. Uh, let's do this one. Go back and let's see. I got 626 gold. Uh, it's enough to upgrade my weapon sharpness, which I think is this crit. Yeah, it went up slightly. So this is a game of incremental uh, improvements to your character. There's your armor. These are this your staff. Yeah, let's try again. I haven't been able to do any of the uh, the bonus objectives so far in, in this particular map. I, I suppose you have to sort of focus in. Like, all right, I, I got some extra backpacks there. Yay. Um, I'm looking for backpacks. <laughs> it's not gonna, not gonna last for long if you just search for backpacks. So the monsters will just crush you. All right, there we go. Uh, okay, have some more magic damage, and you're still alive. And I don't have anything to attack you with that I can see. Swords? Nope, nope, nope. It's turning bad. It's going bad quickly. And I don't know. You know, is that fair? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just bad. Maybe it's just meant to be that way where, you know, sometimes you, you get lucky and sometimes you don't. Oh, so those five swords killed that big orb thing. Now we're sort of in the middle of the screen. There's a, a better start than usual. I think when you're running from encounter to encounter, you probably want to take that, take advantage of that time to use, uh, to, to get backpacks and wood and stone, that kind of thing. All right, what does that do? Does that kill you out right now? So four... Four magics don't kill one of those red orb things. Uh, that will unlock that thing straight up. And we need some more uh, attack, attack, attack. Uh, here, have some backpacks, whatever. Uh, here's some attack. That'll do it, right? No, you're a blue guy. I guess you're tougher. So I need some more swords. No, nope. uh, nothing's coming to mind here. Oh, we can, uh, no, we can't. We can do this though. Use that wild card. Let's see if we can get some of the backpacks. Maybe we can get uh, that bonus objective met. I'm not sure. Oh, wow, this guy's going to be hurting us. We need to get cracking on this. Oh, boy. Uh, here, some shields. That's not really... We're running out of time here. Uh, swords. Here's a sword. That's not... I really need to... Uh, Alright, well, oh. Ta! It also lets you do stuff after you've lost, which really annoys me. Like, I just used that orb for no... Now it's gone. You know, it's like... it. When the level's over, it should be over. We'll do one more. You're kind of getting the idea of it. Um, it's This game, I think I got for a dollar or two dollars on sale for Steam. So I'm not too... Uh, um, you know, the expectations aren't super high. Right, so these guys like the physical damage up here. It appears. Uh, um, where's another one? Uh, I hate this. Ah, well, okay. <laughs> that sucked. Maybe you guys saw one. I didn't. All right, we'll do one more. Cause this is one of those games where it's just like, yeah, one more run, one more run. It does have that kind of going for it. We'll just do what we can. I'll just try to see if I can get uh, going a little bit far. All right, we'll just waste our wild cards. I don't care. Uh, probably should. Alright, have some sword. Get a shield in there, get some more rocks. Um, um, I 
I'm missing something here. Oh, here, we need that one. We need some more physical damage, though, and we don't have it. Alright, uh, I think, yeah. That's, that item I just used brought some more swords into play. So that was helpful. We got some big chain going there, that was pretty cool. Uh, we can open that door pretty easily. Let's get some backpacks. A little chain on the backpacks. Massive chain. Alright, we can open that chest. Oh, we need one more key. Yeah, we have it. Alright, so I've got a couple of these axes. These guys like physical, alright. That hurt them. And this, oh, I guess you, you can summon keys. That sounds useful. Oh boy. Uh, no, I don't want to use that. Let's summon the keys. Okay. That got us through there. And now I can use some, some magic damage on these guys. Oh, it's not hurting them as much as I'd hope. And, uh, okay. Give you what I got. Okay, you're defeated. Thank you for a chest, because I didn't really have a lot of weapons out here. Oh, I need another one. Alright, there we go. And some more chests. And we can see there's a monster right after that. Alright, I have to waste that 5 key. That's no big deal. Alright, monster, monster. Let's kill that. Uh, okay. Okay, you're dead. No, you're not dead. Quickly, you need to find something. Alright, well, that will kill you. Oh, a dragon! What do you want? Nobody told me there'd be dragons. Oh boy. Alright, <laughs> dragon easily dis dispatched me. Well, that was my, I think my best score. Oh, I did a, did a couple uh, of these bonus things, so that's pretty sweet. Can return home and spend the gold. 1179. Um, I want to upgrade. Th these are like, uh, I'll, I'll just show you real quick and then we'll call it an episode. Call it a, call it a day, an episode. And doing the let's play on the Disgaea series. A little too much. Alright, so you can set these things. This one gives you plus 50% stone and wood, but 0% or 0 experience. So I guess you just, it's like a give and take type thing. And then these ones get locked for, I don't know how you unlock them. This one's 25% to this chance to crit crit critical or special strike, but you have minus 25% damage. So I don't know, these sort of give and take, plus and minus. We have enough gold to upgrade armor material. Let's see what that does. So it was 10 and 13 percent. All right, so that increased the enemy attack delay. So they don't attack as quickly. That's cool. I guess you get the idea. You keep going. At some point, you're you're good enough, and you can do a run that's worth 10 million, and you win the game. So, eh, I'm having a little bit of fun with it. It's pretty good. I wouldn't I wouldn't probably buy it at full price. But uh, if, you, if you can find it on, on sale, then by all means, if this looks like your type of game, then go for it. Anyways, I'll see you later. I'm Riff. Out of here. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks a lot.